My name is Darnell Fine. I teach history and language arts in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta Neighborhood Charter is a coalition of essential schools with a philosophy of student-centered constructivist learning. And what that basically means is we anchor the curriculum in the lived experiences of the students. It operates under a series of, of common principles. And one of those common principles is less is more depth over coverage where we really go in depth with the curriculum and we really go in depth with teaching students how to critically think. You know, my critical education started with my mother and it wasn't until high school when I moved here that I met a teacher named Miss Aaliyah Aziz. Walk into her room, on the upper right hand corner of her board, it says, Ms. Aziz B. Trippin. Contraction on Trippin. Under that, it had Africa in big, bold letters, spelt with a K. And I was like, where am I? She was teaching me about sexism. She was teaching me about racism. She was teaching me about classism. And this was the first teacher ever that gave validity to my black English vernacular. It's important for students to feel like the class is a democratic space where they can have dialogical encounters with each other. They have to be able to share who they are beyond the confines of the classroom. Kids before content. And what that means is like you have to look at individual kids before you look at these concepts and this content because ultimately you're not trying to dump a whole bunch of facts into students and say, here, learn these. No, you have to get to know who they are first as individuals so we can really personalize the curriculum to fit their needs. And Open Forum is a way for students to express and bring whatever funds of knowledge that they have, whatever talents that they have, whatever's weighing on them heavily. I had read one of my poems, my poems to my brother and my mom about uh, love. It's not, not this. Keep in mind that the canon in humanities is all socially constructed where someone's picking these texts as being the texts that we study. Why can't students actually bring their own lived experiences in the classroom for us to study? Because that's just as valuable as Ernest Hemingway or William Faulkner or Toni Morrison. Me and my brother Carson. It was the first time I got to see him again for a month, and uh, we took pictures. And this is what my teaching philosophy is anchored in. It's anchored in question, question, question. Getting students to think through a series of Socratic questions so they can birth new thoughts and new understandings of the world. Socratic seminar is a way for students to have discussions. So, there's an inner circle and there's an outer circle. The inner circle participates in a critical reading of a text. The outer circle is kind of like a panopticon. It's like surveillance and they're like observing and they're checking behaviors. And then they're giving feedback to the discussion after the inner circle is finished. But then it's also reciprocal. This dialogical encounter I was talking about with Open Forum continues in a very academic way where the students are talking and I'm decentralized. They hate when I interrupt the Socratic seminar because it's their discussion, it's their space. Everyone has a chance to speak and it's supposed to be equitable. So it moves from this very individualistic type of activity to this very communal activity where it builds these interpersonal connections and interdependence, where it's about upholding and supporting the group. It teaches them to have these critical dialogues, not just in my class, but beyond the confines of my classroom. Every single student is a teacher to me, and they teach me something new every single day. They're critical readers, they're critical writers, they're critical researchers, they're amazing.